Hey guys, welcome to JCW Outdoors. I am not driving, I'm sitting in my vehicle, headed out to, uh, I don't know where I'm gonna go yet. I've got a spot, a couple spots in mind. Um, we'll get out there, see what the, the crop sitch looks like next door, and uh, we'll get Sage out and see if we can't uh, scare a rooster up into the sky. Also, best part about hunting this time of year is when you're on public land, you got your uh, steel in the old gun, got the plug in, you're legal to shoot waterfowl. Um, so, I'm gonna hunt along the water, maybe shoot a duck, maybe shoot a pheasant, maybe I'll shoot both. Maybe I'll come home with nothing, whatever. We'll be out, we're gonna be having a good time. So, all right, well, see you in a bit. So anyway, I'm headed out now. Probably not the most ideal. I'm about an hour early. However, the weather forecast says that around uh, 5 6 o'clock a storm front is supposed to move in So my uh, My line of thinking is that Animals having a greater sense of weather than I do. I've got weather bug. They don't That they're I don't know. I firmly believe that they can sense impending fronts and I think they're gonna go tuck away and I think Sage and I are gonna go bust them out. If we do, great. If we don't, great. It's a beautiful day. Um, it's too beautiful. Right now it's about 77 degrees, which is about 20 degrees warmer than the top end of where I like it to be. But at the same time, it does create a sense of predictability from the pheasants. When, uh, when I get hot, I go to the lake. When they get hot, they, they seem to be by water the air coming off the water is going to be a lot cooler long story short it's hot I think the pheasants are going to be by water because it's cooler so anyway we're gonna go out we're gonna give it uh, give it the old college try and um, yeah we'll give you a little recap when it's over see ya Well, that changes things. Let's walk this up.
stage. No, here. Here, here. Oh, hey, that girl. Oh, got a youngster. No, nope, leave it. Ah, nope. Yeah, you the early hatch, but um, oh, let's see, got a girl sage. Yeah, you just get. You do you, puppy. Love the smell of cottonwoods in fall. Girl Sage, I identified it too late. Awful. Good girl. Good girl. Wow. Just wow. Oh, get out of there. Come here. Leave it. Sage, here. Sage, come here. Here.
Hey, what were there? Six? Five? Six roosters? Still moving. They aren't going very far though. She's like, nope, <laughs> not going to do it. There you go, baby. There you go. Youngster. Just a little, little nubbing guy. Hey, Sage, that's a good, good girl, huh? You know what I think? I think we have two pheasants. <laughs> Trying to pull the feathers out. I think we got two birds. All right, so if I see a rooster on the way back to the truck, I'll shoot it, but I'm not gonna press for a limit. Just, uh, you know, it's resident opener. And I've left, what, I think probably seven, seven or eight roosters out here, so that's okay. Um, I want other people to enjoy hunting, and part of enjoying it is seeing uh, seeing roosters. So, anyway, uh, yeah, let's mosey back to the truck. I'm gonna walk her down to the lake quick and let her lay down. But you know, it never ceases to amaze me when I see all the pheasants, or you know, a large number of pheasants just skedaddle, some flushing way ahead. You know, in my mind, well, they're all gone. But, you know, the, the dog doesn't get that. If they're sent, and you know, I firmly believe they're hearing a lot more than, uh, than what we do. You know, that's, that's how a birdie dog acts and bird flu. Gorgeous day on the prairie. Hopefully you get some uh, rain, cooler down, some moisture on the grass. Scenting conditions are just horrid right now. But what you got, dummy? Huh? Is there another pheasant in here? Let me know if you want me to shoot. There we go. I think I'll jump across the road and go get her in the water. just a little bit about uh, the first video and these next couple of videos as I've learned how to use the GoPro when I'm out uh, you know upland hunting is different pheasant hunting is different you know when I hunt waterfowl I can sit there I can see the birds coming and I can prepare and as we all know pheasant hunting is the direct opposite of that where you don't see them you don't see them and BAM there they go so anyway um, the camera angle has been tilted down. It has been tilted a little bit to the right. I'm, I'm working. I'm hopefully gonna get it all dialed in here during the next couple of hunts, and uh, we'll be good to go from there. But anyway, I'm aware of this, and um, 
yeah, I just want you guys to know that I don't look at that and be like, oh yeah, that's really good footage. It isn't. It's barely passable and barely is why I put it up. So anyway, there we go. That's your morning rant. 29 degrees, snowy South Dakota autumn.